हेलो माय आर्ट व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यू आर सेइंग द आर्ट ऑफ इनसाइड इंप्रेशंस एंड दिस इज आर्टिस्ट भावना सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द थर्ड आई ऑफ दिस आई सीजन सो आई एम रियली हैप्पी यू आर रियली एंजॉयिंग सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट फॉर दिस सीजन सो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस प्रोसेस so we are just using 0.3 mechanical pencil and we are just drawing the directions of the outline so our outline is almost ready and i already shaded the darkest region and i left the light region without any shade that means we can do it later so now using 0.3 mechanical pencil we are drawing the initial direction of the eyebrow so slowly we are building this eyebrows you know what eyebrows building is really tough because you need to maintain perfect spaces between each hair and that doesn't look like a clumsy effect you need to always make it smooth and perfect eyebrows with equal gaps throughout the eyebrow okay so that means it is really tough to maintain the equal spaces so to uh, make the process easier just go according to your reference image always try to draw the shapes and directions of anything let it be eyebrows or eyelashes or anything whatever you are drawing go according to the direction and the shapes what you can see and what you can feel so that is really important that's why the reference image we are using is so precious one and you need to directly follow everything what you can see and you must directly show you are doing the photo realistic output and your aim is as an artist every artist aim is to show the final output which is almost the same as a photo so that is known as photo realism artwork and or hyper realistic or realistic artwork so there are much difference between these terms and i don't want to go into that terms because everyone knows and yeah your aim must be like photo realism and now taking two p grade pencil of stedlo brand we are just going for the other layer and whatever layer you are applying go and blend it properly using the just soft brush so here i am using the camlin brand brush and you can use any brush which is easily available but make sure that brush is giving the smooth results okay so that is the important thing so smooth results are really important and the brush should not blend complete hair or complete region whatever you are doing so it should just um, spread across but it should not blend completely okay so these are the rules when you are blending and when you are making the hair hair should look like strands and you should not blend it completely as it look like a skin texture or layer so that's why prefer using the soft brushes when you are doing the hair eyelashes and so on okay and that is a good thing and next step is to use the other grade that means 3b and we'll just speed up the process once you are done with the 3b grade layer now we are using blending stump and we are blending properly so that the previous layer and present layer will mix super good and they will give like a bulky eyebrows that means the thicker eyebrows look here next step will be using the tombow mono zero eraser so that's why i'm just spreading across so that i can use eraser properly and that will look like highlights so when you use eraser on the white paper it doesn't look good right it will not show up right so that's why i'm just blending before layer so that whatever uh, highlights you are now adding those will come up and looks perfect so this is the main reason of using blending stump in the before process so every step is having some or other reason so if you want every step with every reason i'm ready to explain so whatever you want please do ask and just um, share your feedback below so that i'll be happy to share more such 
important hacks tips and reasons why you need to follow that particular step only so that's the thing and it doesn't require any motivation from others but i just uh, take my self motivation as motivation factor uh, because um, every time you'll not find uh, other person to motivate you so that's why take your inner motivation as your motivation factor don't depend on others to motivate you to do more so that's why i'm just continuing my youtube channel journey because i know i'm improving i know i'm happy with the results and i know i'm motivated to do more and i know you are really enjoying so 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 that's the thing you need to always try to find your own self and you need to always try to impress yourself so don't impress others try to impress yourself that means when you are working on the current project that current project should be more effective more good than the previous one so this is known as comparative analysis compare your previous project with the present project and you need to feel the difference that means the positive difference and positive enhancement so that is really important to you to grow and to stay connected that means to uh, provide good quality outputs that means i hope you are getting it and no more that means so coming back to our process now we are just blending with our normal brush that means the soft brush and now we are using 12p grade pencil and we are giving the final touches that means these are not final touches at all but yeah final touches in the sense so wherever i can find the thick hair grown that hair i am just providing so i'm not providing all over because um your eyebrow if you absorb properly your eyebrow will not have like same uh, thickness of hair completely that means yeah you need to absorb the things properly before applying and then we are just blending that means we are making the skin texture look more good and uh, with all the texture on it so skin texture is not easy thing and you need to know the basics of skin texture and how you need to do so to improve your skin texture process you can see my skin texture uh, playlist and you can find like good playlist that is really awesome playlist i can say because you will find each video below than 5 minutes and full of information and you will really enjoy the tips in that so make sure you are watching it and you should not miss it because you are my subscriber and you need to definitely learn many things from me so that's the reason i added the good playlist for you in the i cards and if you are not familiar with using the blending stump or paper stump this paper stump is really very good when you know the actual trick of blending so when you use the dirty blending stump so which is uncleaned you will really find the messy results okay so try to clean your blending stump properly before you are using it so this is like effective medium and this is like effective tool to apply the and to balance the tones in your artwork okay so i'm really saying you will really enjoy it okay so please do give a try after cleaning your blending stump i really use like base layers like two to three layers using blending stump only then only i'll use my pencil on this a uh, built in layers that means built in layers will be like directional layers and if you are really seeing the like dark areas you can directly apply using blending stump and you can apply pencil on it directly so this directional tones are like uh, mid tones darkest region and the highlights etc so using blending stump you can really identify and you can apply like you can handle it so good right so it is like just pencil and yeah you can easily apply directly okay so one tip i just want to share here is always uh, keep separate blending stumps that means when you are blending the dark layers keep the separate uh, blending stump for the dark layers and mid tones separate 
blending stump for mid tones and the lightest region separately so maintain three blending stumps for the different region so that you will not miss anything and you will not mess up okay so darkest region will be a like a like separate blending stump and you will get only darkest results using it so this is super cool tip and i'll just follow this and you'll also have like two sides of blending stump right so try using complete blending stump for darkest region only because when you are confused between like dark and light side you are going to mess up so please do keep all the steps in mind and try implementing them now uh, coming to daisy flower this flower will really add value to your drawing so that's why i just added a little uh, flower effect so it is not actually present on this artwork that means on the reference image i just uh, picked from the other reference image and i merged my reference image with that um yeah so this merging you can do in in short that means when you pick the two different images and if you are not really um don't know how that comes out so what i do is i'll just um merge to reference image that means um you can add like pip effect in the in short so pip effect you can also change the shape of the pip effect and then you can do many things that means you can adjust the value you can um uh, merge according to your wish so if you really want to see what i do and how i do uh, please do comment below uh, saying that how to merge two images using in short app i'll just make a video on it if you really wish to learn or if you really want to know okay don't hesitate to ask me i'm just sharing all my good things please be free with me and ask whatever you want to learn from me so i am running this channel because i just want to share all the tips and tricks with you so please be free with me and just uh, comment below okay i hope this insights will really help you and yeah so just enjoy the process now and you can see complete process of eyelashes and daisy flower so this is really important and know how the lashes and the daisy flower is created so i'm happy with the season and thank you so much for your support and love and please do watch complete video and don't skip because you will miss the process so yeah i'll add a little track for you and just enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and stay connected i'll be back within few minutes
If you are new to my channel, please to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the bell icon. So, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy and happy learning. Artist Bhavna signing off for today. Thank you so much again and stay connected to see more 3 eyes on this season and I'll share the outputs.